joining us now is writer Vicky Pisarius, who says drinking socially, it shouldn't and doesn't affect your parenting. Let's just all enjoy a drink. Radio presenter Janie Lee Grace, who says staying sober makes you a better parent. You have gone sober, haven't you? I have, yes. So for, how long for? Uh, a year and four months. Why? Yes, why? Because hmm. um, I was drinking too much. Why, no, OK, how much was too much? Well, uh, that's an interesting question because, um, I, in my case, it was kind of starting off with one glass of wine, as everyone does, yeah. and then building up. And then I had a little voice in my head that would say, well, you've had two glasses, you may as well finish off the bottle, Absolutely. you know, it's only a bit more. So, so it creeps up. A creeps bottle of night, then? Um, not quite a bottle of night, but getting that You know that, what GPs that say? They say but that when they ask patients how much they drink and they tell them, they double it. Uh, absolutely, yeah. always. But then, yeah. but then, having said that, so two bottles a night. No, no. Well, in my case, <laughs> it wasn't. But I'm very glad because it would end up that way if I were right. careful. But the point is that it, I didn't have a dramatic rock bottom. There was no. Because no. the question is always, well, how much were you drinking? And most people, when they ask that, I'm not accusing you, Richard, but most people, <laughs> when they ask that, are really saying. I wonder if I'm drinking too much. Yeah. Absolutely less than right. You, yes. I'll be okay. Yeah. But actually, it's not. In my opinion, it's not about how much you're drinking and whether that's an issue. It's the question should be, would I feel better physically and mentally hmm. if I didn't have alcohol well, the in my life? Well, the question this morning, of course, is As whether parent, you should yeah. be drinking when you're Absolutely. in in charge of your children. Yeah. I mean, Anne Hathaway says she was never out of control yep. when she mm. was drinking, uh, when she was in charge of her uh, little one. Or whether it affects you in the next day, Absolutely. possibly two days, up to four days later. You've just given up drinking, but yeah, yeah, when your children were young... Half, when, I, when my children were young, I was drinking. That mm. was my way, you know, I was literally the... You know, I probably would have been in your position a couple of years ago. I'd have okay. been arguing for it. But did you have any... It's wine o'clock, you know, mummy time. Wine o'clock, exactly. Looking back, looking back <laughs> were there ever any incidents, looking back now, being honest, no. where you thought, I wasn't competent that evening, I did the wrong thing uh, there, I made a misjudgment, I drove when I shouldn't have done, anything like that? Yeah, no, in my case, again, absolutely no dramatic no. rock bottoms, completely high-functioning, nobody else would know there's a problem. But I knew there was a problem at 3 a.m. every morning when I woke up thinking why did I why did I finish that bottle that was mm. utterly ridiculous mm. and when I woke up feeling like absolute rubbish but more importantly I wouldn't have been able to drive my kid to the hospital if they needed to go in the middle of the night I wasn't fully present and mm. because of hangovers because of drinking I wasn't everything I could be for, for them so I was definitely a worse parent I think from my perspective I'm not drinking that much and it's you know I'm showing I don't think you have to be a martyr to be a good mother either and uh, for me it's you know a, a glass a night over say Christmas or the summer it's not yeah. every night at all and it's completely not out of control and you know and actually at Christmas I think my kids did see me a bit tipsy and I don't think that's a bad thing because mm -hmm. I wasn't out of control and I was looking after them but mm. it was Christmas day like yeah. everyone I my family are Greek and we were brought up very much like the French. Um, alcohol was quite a naturalised thing. Therefore, it didn't, it, it wasn't demonised, so it wasn't such a, something mm. to, be, to be abused. It was, mm. and, and mm. for me, that's... But really alcohol is a drug, though, and we can't get away yeah. from that. I know we love to, because in our society, it's fully ingrained. And in fact, And alcohol, entirely legal. But are, it's, it's entirely something, legal. but are you saying there's something intrinsically wrong in sitting there at half past six, seven o'clock in the evening in front of your children, however old they are, and sipping a, a, a largest glass of wine. Is there something intrinsically you, wrong with No, that? there isn't anything Good, intrinsically there isn't, wrong with is that. There? No. Of course no. there isn't. And if you practice mindful drinking or moderation, I mean, what Vic is talking about, the odd glass of wine, of course there's no problem with that. Yeah. But alcohol is the only drug that you have to justify not taking. When you stop mm, drinking, that's an interesting for starters, point. it's like you, it's a, you have to keep it a secret because everyone just goes, oh, dear, did you have a terrible problem? You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> Meaning, I wonder if I've got a problem. Um, but, you know, literally you have to justify it because mm. it's so against society. But if you are a mindful drinker, if you drink very, very occasionally, well, of course that's not going to make any but difference. I think it's hard with Anne Hathaway, though, because mm. she's, you know, women and mums have got so much pressure anyway, mm. and suddenly we've got this idea, why is it so extreme that she's going to never drink now? And it also, um, you know, alludes to the thing that a parent should never be without their child. I've had nights out with my friends. Mm -hmm. You still have a life. You're entitled but to a life. I do think that, but, if she, that she's on record as saying that she was having to spend four days yeah, exactly. re oh, recovering so from her extreme. drinking. But and no, therefore, to you... me, that, that implies that there were issues there, which, which must have been affecting the, the way that she was, at the very least, relating to her children. So, you know, mm. she did say that. That's I think the important bit, though, that what you just picked up on there, it's really important, as you say, because 
because as a parent, you do feel pressure. Mm. You know, it's a huge, Every it's a huge which shock. Way there's pressure. But alcohol does not no. help with the pressure. But in I'll fact, tell you what, oh, I tell you what, Jenny, in that moment, it does. You've not had my kid, MJ. No, I really, I really have. Trust me. I no, now really know, no. you know, with the benefit of hindsight, I didn't. But yes. I now know how much better life is without alcohol. But some some people worry. Just to, to kind of wrap this up, they worry that if they they drink in front of their children routinely, it encourages their children to drink when they grow up, and you perpetuate the, an issue with alcohol. All I can say is that I'm talking not just on behalf of my own family, and my own growing up children mm. now, but also all our friends, our generation as parents, uh, drank. Uh, mm. We'd come home and have a glass of wine uh, uh, in the same way as our parents made a cup of tea. You know, that's how it was. Mm. But my kids barely drink at all. Mm. That's and, really and, true. And most, a lot, most a lot of their the generation. Young, a lot of young people have, no? have, have, really, have really seen that. So we There's didn't a... actually somehow subtly propagandise them into drinking. Well, yeah. either that or they're bright. I mean, there is something of a sober revolution at the moment. You know, I'm not the only one sitting here talking about this, although I know it feels like that sometimes. Things are kicking off. There are dry bars popping up, yeah. fantastic, mm. amazing um, sober events. Well, Julie and there I are have stopped. Communities. We, we stopped in November. And um, we we found fantastic non-alcoholic wines. Oh, they're, they're, which are which are pretty mm, good. I mean, the, you know. the rise in that, that market is huge. I don't see the point <laughs> in non-alcoholic wine because it looks nice. Um, it occupies the space on the table that w real wine used to. Well, it's not not, not real wine. It is wine. It's just that it had the alcohol. Do you taken convince out. yourself you're drunk when you're drinking it? Yes. <laughs> no, do you? no, not at no, all. But some people has, do get it, that kind of no, buzz it, from no, it. No, it doesn't have that effect. It's just, it's a prop. Yeah. Um, and actually, it looks quite civilised on the table yeah. rather than because sparkling it's a habit water. At the same time, isn't it? You're it, dealing it, with a habit. Yeah. Easily, Absolutely. parents, mums, dads shouldn't feel guilty. They I do totally want to enjoy agree. wine responsibly mm -hmm. and within the limits. And, you know, let's not demonise it and feel that I it's. I think that, this... that word is, is responsibly and it is within yeah. limits. But the question and is. And also, dad, oh my God, I think there's enough for mums and dads to be fair to feel guilty about. And, you know, after a long day when you do feel like you are absolutely run ragged I completely yeah. remember mm. that moment where you just could knock the edge <laughs> off it yeah. but you feel better not drinking don't you I'm not She's entirely had eight drinks, not though, drinking. <laughs> had eight drinks over but you're mindful drinking. You're drinking mindfully. But also, yeah. how about special occasions, though? What, you know, Anne Hathaway saying no drinks at all. Yeah, yeah. just good you know, for there her. Are times when it is, it I is do is think good for her, but it is quite a promise to make. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. The next yeah. 15 yeah. years, I'm going to have nothing. No, but you see, I would say she should go one step further yeah. and say, why, about, well, why would I want to go back to a poison? Well, it's almost like I want to go and live in a I've got to finish this time yesterday. We're actually earlier than this yesterday. We were actually drinking mojitos live <laughs> on the programme <laughs> in obviously from in honour of from Cairns in honour of Diane Abbott. Today. Yeah, well, you, yeah. you, you've done a nice virgin mojito for me, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> if you say so, yes. <laughs>